Hi guys, welcome to Charlie and me here camping vlog. Just a little bit before the video starts. Uh, the COVID virus has hit the country, it's hit the world, but it has hit Ireland. And St. Patrick's weekend, which is the weekend that we recorded these videos, uh, campsites were starting to close all over the Republic of Ireland. They were starting to close until April. So I don't know how many reviews we're going to bring you over the next couple of weeks. Now, as you know, we do the podcast with Chris, the Camping Crew podcast, and we've been asked a lot of questions on the Camping Crew podcast. Technical questions like, for example, what toolbox do you carry in your camper van? How do you go about changing a puncher if you get one? Do you call the AA or the RAC or your breakdown? So we're going to do a video. Charlie obviously won't be helping, but I'll do a video over the next coming weekends of the tools that I carry in the camper van just to show you, give you an idea of what maybe you have or should have, or maybe I'm carrying too much. And I'm also going to make a video of the jacking points on camper vans because camper vans can be awkward when changing back wheels because we're normally hidden behind half a skirting board or something on the side of the wagon. So we'll do a video on that as well and hopefully they will help you out, especially seeing that we're not going to be doing campsite reviews. Now this campsite review, it was to be Linder's Caravan Park in Portran in Dublin. Um, a couple of weeks back, I noticed on Facebook that Helen Linders was saying that Linder's Caravan Park was open. So I went onto their website and I phoned Helen and I left a message. Never got back to me. I then Facebooked Messenger to say, you're saying you're open, but you're not getting in touch. And she Facebooked Messenger me to say that we are open. Come on up. So on Patrick's weekend, Friday the 13th was when we were going and Deirdre was working a wee bit late. So I rang on Thursday Jerry's phone because I didn't think I'd get an answer on Helen's phone and left. Uh, I didn't get an answer. So I left him a message to ask him to give me, ring me back on my mobile and on my office number. He never rang back. Anyway, Friday, we headed towards Dublin, heading towards Linders and Port Rand. And at half six now, it said on our website, you can only check in up to seven o'clock. So I said, I better give them a buzz, let them know we're running a bit late, hoping to get an answer. So at half six, I did. I gave them a buzz. Jerry answered the phone. I said, um, I rang yesterday, you never rang back. He said, oh yeah, I got your message. I said, well, look, we're on our way. And he said, well, look, you're going to have the whole park to yourself. And I said, oh, why? I said, is it not busy? He says, we're closed. There was a dog show seemingly. And because of the virus, the dog show was cancelled. So they closed the park. Why didn't they ring me and tell me I was on my way? He knew I was on my way. Anyway, we didn't go. I didn't lose the head, but uh, I was a bit upset. So um, we went and I want to say a big thank you to the guys at Camac Valley. They looked after us. We went into Camac Valley on Friday night, stayed there Friday night. And then we went north to Fermanagh, which is where this video comes in. So um, I was going to play the original start of the video which was for Linders but look let's not do that let's just get into the video by saying oh look who's come upstairs <laughs> let's get into the video by saying welcome to Charlie and me our camping vlog this video we're heading north we're heading to Fermanagh and we're heading to Russian House Caravan and Camping Park uh, just outside Enniskillen about 20 minutes outside Enniskillen so sit back um, skip to here and you'll get the footage of us just driving in the gate okay because a lot of you don't like the road footage, some of you do, but you just definitely want to see the driving in and the accessibility into the campsite. So skip to here and you'll see where we're driving into the campsite. So it's a uh, Rusheen House uh, and Caravan and Camping Park and it's in Fermanagh, County Fermanagh, just outside Enniskillen. Enjoy and I'll chat to you in a couple of minutes.
So this isn't the video that we started out to make. We're supposed to be in Linder's Caravan and Camping Park in Port Ran. So as you've seen, that didn't work out. So we're now in Rushing House in Belco in Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. Never been here before. Uh, you saw from, for those of you who did watch the road footage, a bit of a drive, nice drive. The weather is just totally against us. So we're sitting on the bed, myself and Charlie doing this piece for you. Uh, this place is fabulous. They've opened a new motorhome, static static motorhome park up there, which I, I'm going to show you around when the weather gets clearer. But at the moment, it's just lashing out of the heavens. And it's what time now? Three o'clock in the afternoon. So we're just sitting here on the bed in the comfort. Deirdre's up front reading a book. Just had a bit of grub. This campsite has level hard stands. It's on a lake and the lake has double width stands so you can get your caravan and your car beside it and you also have some green area if you put out uh, an awning or a gazebo there's a couple of caravans there's a couple of motorhomes here already we're parked it's a double level two two levels we're parked up in the high part and again i'll show you some footage from the dash cam it's a beautiful view i'd say during the summer this place is beautiful the kitchen has two sinks but no cooking facilities there's a laundry room which has a sink a washer and a dryer which you pay for it's 27 pounds sterling a night which includes electric hookup and free wi-fi and the showers are free in the gents toilet there are three showers and one of them has an invalid seat in it as well it's a wet room with three showers they're free uh, the kitchen, as I say, has no cooking facilities, but there is, it's a washroom. There's ladies' toilets, gents' toilets and showers, and then there's also a disabled toilet at the side. At the toilet block at the rear is where you empty your chemical toilet. And just as you make your way, way in the gates of Rushing House, there's an area on the left-hand side to empty your grey water and fill your fresh water tank. And every pitch has 10 amp electricity and fresh water and plenty of grass as well, which I'll show you. Excuse me which I'll show you, as I say, uh, in a couple of minutes. But this is a very nice campsite. I'd love to come here in better weather because I'd say that lake is great for fishing and boating if you're into kayaking and boating. It's very, very clean, very well laid out. And for 27 pounds sterling, it's a good price for a motorhome, two adults, no charge for the dog. I must also show you, this is the first trip that we have taken the Fiat out on the A-frame. And I'll just show you the state of the front of the car from being towed in the rain behind a motorhome. That's something that I never thought of. But then, of course, we hope to be towing mostly during the summer. So we'll take you outside when the weather gets better. Take a walk around this exceptionally clean site and beautiful views looking out over the lake as well. Uh, so we'll do that now. The rain has stopped, so we've uh, made it out. And I love this. I love seeing this in camping parks. I think the first time I saw it was in Doolan. Dog parking, I love it. This is the toilet block. This place has more awards inside the doors. From the Northern Ireland Tourist Board, from Practical Caravan. They're doing a lot on the COVID-19. They've put signs up here. You won't see it, of course, with our reflections, but all about the COVID-19, catch it, bin it, use it. It's uh, inside behind that door. I don't want to go in there because it's the toilets. There are loads and loads and loads of awards, but look at this place. I'm going to say it's Loch McElhenney. I can't remember the name of the lock. Uh, Nevin McGuire, the chef, has a restaurant nearby. Well, the uh, lock out those clouds. <laughs> We're here. Um, this is the first time we've taken, and as I say, the toilet block, I just want to turn around. Charlie has me all knotted up. This is the, the playground down there, the barrier to get in. There's a, a small football pitch down there. We'll take a walk down that way. But this is the first time that we've taken the car with us, and it's absolutely filthy. It's manky. So, toilet block. Look at the size of our hard stand. Each hard stand has electricity and fresh water. They go all the way up there. We're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine of them, there's some over there. Now in behind the gate up there is a new static park that they've just opened. 
And you can see the width of the pitches here where that caravan is. They have a Jeep, the two bikes, all with electricity and all with water. Rushing house, caravan and camping park. Reception is actually at the house as you make your way in. Then you come in through the barrier where the playground is, football pitch. The lady was telling me Breda and Cahill are the owners and Breda was saying that that jetty down there you can normally see, but because of the rain over the past couple of days, it's been absolutely torrential. This is our first chance to get out since we got here. Let's take a walk down here just to show you this place is spotless the greens are well maintained there's lighting everywhere all the pitches have water and electricity it's a rubbish dump just over there beside the children's playground small football pitch i'm just going to show you the play area here and down by the jetty which as i say uh, breda was saying it's normally longer and you can see a lot more of it but i'll just show you a bit of a playground here i've never seen this on a campsite so you've got an exercise area. I've seen these in parks that county councils have put in. It's table tennis over there. You have your football pitch. There's actually a bowls pitch just here. This bit of gravel is for bowls. Playground here. As you make your way in, this entrance here is the grey water and fresh water area. Bins are just down there. If it wasn't so cold, I'd get Deirdre out and we'd have a go on the seesaw. So this is the jetty and Breda was saying that it's normally a little bit longer. Uh, it seems like there's a walkway along here, but some of it has washed away. This is the area for tents, just beside that playground area. Uh, there are signs and bins for dog poop. But uh, yeah, I'd love to come here during the summer. I'd say there's some buzz. So there's the size of the pitches. This place is spotless. The grounds are very well kept. Now, they were telling us that they opened a new static park, which is, you'll see how new it is. It's just up here on the second gate. And uh, it's going very well for them, glad to say. But some investment. Again, another key code gate. Oh wow, so he's three more pitches here first. Charlie this way. Good boy. And look at those views. So again, it's on different levels, but look how clean it is. So we've the ground level here, a level there and another level up the back. And despite that sky, it is a little bit chilly, but uh, the rain is holding off. So a wrap up here from Russian House, uh, just outside Enniskillen, about 15, 20 minutes from Enniskillen. Uh, Belco is the name of the town and it's in County Fermanagh. This is five stars. This is a fabulous place. You've got the lake here. The pitches, as you've seen on the video, are wide enough for pitch car, caravan car. You have green area, you have picnic tables, you have the playground, the workout area, the football pitch and that spans of water for boating. Things to do, walking, hiking, boating, fishing, relaxing, chilling. 27 pounds sterling a night, including electric hookup, free showers, toilets, campus kitchen, invalid toilets, spotless. Plenty of water, water and electricity on each site. This is definitely a place to come to. Our first time up uh, in Northern Ireland and 
thumbs up, fantastic place. Can I remind you please to subscribe to our channel, click on the bell if you haven't done so already, and the Camping Crew Podcasts with myself and Chris, they go out every Wednesday and they're available on most podcast platforms. Thank you for joining us. Charlie and Deirdre are just off having a walk as we uh, strip down and we head off to another campsite in Fermanagh and we'll tell you all about that very, very soon on Charlie and me, our camping vlog. Take care. Take a look at